Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Fours Long Guide called For The Drivers which wants you to own and drive the 2016 Lotus 311 to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Now this is the 2016 Lotus 311, the car in question. Um, it's not obviously the 211, which is another older variant. Now you can, if you don't own this, win it in this week's trial as well. Um, another thing to note is I've not done a tune for it and you'll find out in a minute why. Now the first challenge here is nice and easy, it just wants you to take it on a five mile drive. So obviously to do this, I recommend heading down the main highway through the center of the map. This isn't obviously a difficult challenge, it can just take a little bit of time. You've got to bear in mind that this car isn't built for top end speed, it's just built for handling and acceleration. Now normally as well, I'd recommend probably going into a cockpit view and reading the odometer to keep track of it instead of having to pause the game and checking in the menu, but this one doesn't seem to come with it. But you'll just keep going until the challenge pops up as complete. Now the next one, again, nice and easy, wants you to spend 11,000 credits on the car. So on upgrades, that is, sorry. So to do this, I recommend just upgrading the main tire compound and then upgrading the rear tire width. Now you can spend above 11,000 pounds, it doesn't matter. This is just the quickest way I'd recommend doing it, especially if you're sort of on a budget and you don't wanna spend more. If not, the other quick method is just go to an auto upgrade and upgrade it to the maximum of S1 class. It will cost a bit more, but if money's not an issue, this will be the quickest method. Now moving on to the final challenge, just want you to beat any ghost's rival, or any rival ghost, sorry. Uh, to do this, you wanna head over to the online tab and then go down to rivals. From there, you'll head into the main horizon rivals. And now you can pick any class of racing. So I just went for road races and I picked my Arch of Mulehay races. It's the track I know best, but you can use whichever. You then obviously wanna pick the car class that your car is in, so in this case, S1. And on the right hand side there, you'll see the details of the rival. Now, if you press Y, you can go into more detail to pick a different rival. By hitting X, you change the filter, so whether it's friends or rivals that are in your clubs. Now, obviously, it's probably quicker to go into your club's rivals or possibly your friends and pick the slowest person, although I think it automatically does that anyway. So as you can see, this person here has 1 minute 13, and I know that I can beat that. You don't have to have done this race prior to this either. Now it's super easy, obviously you've got to bear in mind when you start the race, the rival will already fly past because you're effectively doing your first lap and they possibly have done their best one. It won't always be the case, but most of the time it will be. Now lucky for me, this person had already spun out, hence why they'd set a slow lap time. So this was quite easy. It may not always be the case. So once you've completed the first lap, if you are behind, obviously it will be easier just to, to keep going. Uh, and then you'll get more of a run up instead of a standing start at the beginning. However, it is generally quite an easy challenge to do and there's typically always someone who's further behind in a lap time. It obviously does help as well if you tune your car a bit better. So in this instance, I just stuck with the auto upgrade of up to maximum of S1 class to complete it. However, it may not be necessary, but it does always help your cause to do so. Like I said, pick a track that you know best as well. So obviously if you follow my channel, you'll know that Arch of Mulehe is a race that I use all the time so i know this track very well and i know pretty much what sort of times i'll be expecting out of specific cars but there you see that's the rival beat it's super easy to do providing you've got plenty of rivals if not you'll want to set a lap time and then once you do it go back into the rivals and it'll pick someone that's got a time near to you so it's probably worth setting a slower time going back into rivals it will then put someone who's just a second or so ahead or half a second um, and then you can redo it and win if you set yourself a purposely slow lap time now if you are struggling with any of the challenges please do let me know down below in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you guys out as best as i can also don't forget to stick around as well as shortly after this will be the photo challenge guide as well but anyway, like I said, I hope this guide helped. If it did, I'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribing massively helps me out. But apart from that, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and have a very Merry Christmas.